Good morning, everybody. Good morning to the word warriors. Warriors. I don't sound like I say worry. No, we're saying warrior. Like the strength, the power. Come on into the room. I pray I'm on the right page now. I was on the wrong page earlier. Come on in. We're going to start promptly in two minutes. Come on into the word warrior. We are strong warriors for Christ. We're gearing up for the second half of 2022. Can you, I mean, this time just goes so fast. That is why we must hear the voice of God. We must be in the presence of the Lord as we press through to the end of the year. I want to say as we just come to the end, you know, we don't want to be one that's striving, that's just trying to survive. You know, we're ones that are conquerors. We're ones that are thriving in Christ. The world system is not the kingdom of God. And so we cannot be diluted or polluted with the things of the world. We are called to change the culture. We're called to change things for the better, amen? And so that is our assignment. And so this morning, as you come on in, we got about one more minute, and we're trying to stay around 15 minutes, uh, it's just to give you a word of encouragement and also a word to study why the word is so important that you have it in your heart. And today we're gonna talk about how it can be revealed in your heart. And that's what we wanna talk about this morning, the word of God being revealed in your heart. It has to be a revelation for yourself. One of the things I often talked about is um, growing up, I was always in, in Christian schools or church or anything like that. I didn't really have to experience a lot of tribulations or trials. And I really thought that, you know, just keeping yourself, being obedient to the things of God, the word of God, that you would never have to go through anything that would be a challenge that would uh, try your faith too hard because you're obedient. You always say yes. But there are times when you still go through and it's because you are doing right. You It's because you are operating in the, in the word of God. And so oftentimes I could hear testimonies of people that had made it through, maybe made it through a sickness and made it through in victory or financial collapse. They made it through and I had their testimony, but it wasn't my testimony. And I could, I could regurgitate their testimony, but it wasn't until I went through a season that now I have a revelation of who God is. I know him to be a healer. I know him to be a deliverer. I know him to be a rescuer. I know him to be a friend. I know it's like I have a revelation of him. It's one thing to to mimic somebody else and say what they say. It's another thing to have a revelation of who he is for yourself. And so I just want to let you know that each one of us can have a revelation of the word of God for ourselves and so, and who he is for ourselves. And so uh, one of the things that I want to start off is by reading the Jeremiah chapter 23, and we're going to look at verse 24 and it says, can a man hide himself in a secret place? so that I cannot see him, declares the Lord. Do I not fill heaven and earth, declares the Lord. Have I heard what the prophets have said who prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall there be lies in the heart of the prophets who prophesy lies and who prophesy the deceit of their own heart, who think to make my people forget my name, for Baal, who think to make my people forget my name by their dreams. And they tell one another, even as their fathers forgot my name for Baal. And so here God is speaking about prophecy, prophe, prophecy and those that were prophet, prophets that prophesy and they would speak lies out of their heart. And it says here, just as their fathers did for Bill, Bill represents um, the world system, represents the love of money, represents the love of self. Again, humanistic desires. And so it says, let the prophets who have a dream tell the dream, but let him who has my word speak my word faithfully. What has straw in common with wheat declares the Lord. 
Is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks rocks into pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, declares the Lord, who steal my words from one another. Right there, just say Selah. I'm, I want you to see this because I, I've mentioned earlier about the apostate church that will rise up and, and it'll be a place of, sounds familiar, looks familiar, the words seem good, the music seems right, everything seems right, but there's something off. And it's because the, they, they have fallen astray from what God has said to do. Instead, they do what they want to do, what they desire to do, what is convenient for them, um, what they have created, their own doctrine, a humanistic type of thing. It don't take all that. Uh, yeah, that was, yeah, maybe in the Old Testament, but not, you know, all of that. Instead of saying, well, what did God say? Not what you feel, but what did God say? So the word, revealed word has to be what? God's word. And here in Jeremiah, the prophets were getting together and prophesying their own agenda, what made them feel good, what made them seem okay, what made them feel uh, justified. And God said, no, 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 you can't steal my word and say that it has power. And then Jeremiah says something very, I mean, just profound. What has wheat in common with straw? And when you look that up and study that, you realize that wheat and straw are of the same plants. So wheat is the grain, it is the seed. And once you harvest that from the stalk, the stalk becomes straw. So it's the same plant, but one has seed that can be grain that you can plant again. So in other words, wheat has life in it. Wheat can be reconstructed and, 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 and crushed to become flour, to become something that brings nutrients, something that brings help and deliverance to something else. And so we have to see that wheat has power. Now straw, a horse can eat straw, you know, an animal can eat straw, but humans can't and be nourished from it. But wheat, we can, and wheat pre reproduces itself. And so that's the difference. And so when it's a prophet or the word of God, the true word of God, the power of the word of God ought to be able to be reproduced. The word of God ought to have some life in it. It is the word of God that has power. It is the word of God that can bring deliverance, nutrients. It can bring a place of strength. That's the difference. And so the word has to be from the Lord. It cannot be just the word that you woke up and said, I think, I think, and I'm going to declare this over, over there. But, but did God say it? As I said before, you can't speak a word that somebody else is your husband when they already married. That's not a word that has power. That's a word that's going to bring the vision. And so we have to realize where we are in Christ and what Christ is desiring of us. And so if we do that, then we understand that it is the revealed word that brings the power of God. See, see, when you get a revelation that if you're walking through sickness in your body and you start dousing yourself in the power words of healing, that power word of healing will start revealing to your spirit that your body doesn't have to be sick anymore, but it's the power of the word of who? Of God. It is not just something made up. The word of God has power. And when you start speaking the word, because the word is spirit, the word of God is spirit. And see, every everyone else's word is straw. Everyone else's word is 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 it has no power, but it's the word of God that has the power to be able to bring deliverance and healing. It's able to change somebody's mind. Glory to God. Can I tell you, we can't change people, but the Holy Spirit can. And so the Holy Spirit uh, will get in that word, my goodness, my goodness, and it will attack somebody's uh, hard heart, soften their heart, cause them to come and be in a place of submission to the Lord. You didn't do it. But it was the word of God. And I'm saying all this because we have to see where we are in the body of Christ and not fall for the apostate church, the church that is just fluff, but no word. Uh, this people are looking for the tinkling of the ears. We cannot fall in that place. And it's easy to do that. Church can become entertainment. It can become uh, full of knowledge. But if it's not the knowledge of the word, it has no power. Okay, I can get stuck on that because I feel that so strong 
and my spirit. And so human beings could study and speculate on, on, on knowledge and they can come up with uh, many theories. We know evolution, we know uh, so many things that have come through man's knowledge, but not the word of God. And then it becomes a doctrine. But if we understand that it's only the Lord that can give us the power and the truth, then we do not get stuck in what people say, but we fall in what God says. So the act of revealing or communicating divine truth is revelation, something that is revealed by God to people and the act of revealing to view or to making known. Amen. And so right now, I just want to pray with you and then we're going to do a word of confession and to understand that uh, as we embark upon our day today, carry the word of God in your heart. Like read, read over Jeremiah 23, okay? Read over the, the specific scripture that I, that I gave, Jeremiah 23 and 24, and start getting that in your spirit. And then saying, God, let me see the truth. And let me see if you can focus on the truth when the fake shows up, you can identify easily because you've been in the truth all this time. And so that is why the word is so important. So let's pray. Father, we just thank you right now. We give you honor and glory. We thank you for each and every person that is, is here this morning to seek your face and get encouragement about the power of your word. And Father, we declare that we will only speak your word. As in Jeremiah, the prophets were speaking each other's word, but they did not speak your word. And today we make a commitment to only speak what you say, to only reproduce what you say, to only give out in the power and the strength of the word of God by your spirit and none others. That is our de declaration. Now, I just heard the Lord said, be careful what you put in your ear gate. Only listen to what God has said. It's speaking, but only listen as well to what God has said in your ear gate. And that which you hear, then you can speak. Faith comes by hearing and hearing comes by the word of God. So it's only by the word of God that your faith can increase. So one of the things I wanna do now is, is read a, uh, debt-free uh, confession. And, and again, you can take this to replay it. You can uh, read this again uh, on, this, on the social media site uh, just to replay it. But it's something that you can get in your spirit. Yesterday, we also did a confession. Those are the ways that you can get the word in your spirit by making declarations that are based upon the word of God. Okay, are you ready? We, the body of believers, declare we have been carved out for the end time expression of El Shaddai. And for those of you who don't know, El Shaddai means the multi-breasted one, the one that's able to provide nurturant, nutrients and provision. The God of abundance and no lack. We are taught how to have, how, we, we are taught how to live independent of this world system and how to have dominion over it. Therefore, in Jesus' name, we declare we are debt-free. The spirit of debt is destroyed over our lives and over our local churches because of the anointing. We are the lender and not the borrower, the head and not the tail. We are blessed coming in and blessed going out. The Father daily loads us with benefits and causes his blessings to overtake us. Wealth and riches are in our house, and we increase more and more. God has given us power to get wealth, to establish his kingdom here in the earth, and millions are now hearing the gospel and receiving Jesus as Lord. We are plenteous in goods, for God has given us richly all things to enjoy. The blessings of the Lord have made us rich, adding no sorrow with it. We are joint heirs with Jesus Christ, and Abraham's blessings belong to us. We are holy millionaires, and we walk in God's wisdom, exercising sound judgment and stewardship over wealth. We now we now are bountifully 
therefore we reap bountifully. We give bountifully, therefore we reap bountifully. We give and it is given unto us good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over. We have the wealth of the wicked and we owe no man anything but love. The devourer is rebuked for our sakes and he cannot destroy the fruits of our ground. All these promises are ours by faith and faith works by love. So we constantly walk in love. We walk in the love of the word and the wicked one touches us not. Our hearts are fixed trusting in the Lord. We hold fast to our confession of faith. We are the debt free redeemed of the Lord. And we say so in the name of Jesus. Can the redeemed of the Lord say so? Amen. And we say so. Well, I pray that you were blessed by the, the word warrior this morning. Uh, this is what we this is our confession of faith today. And we stand as true believers, not to get not to get confused with the apostate church, but we are the true church of God because we stand upon the power of the word of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you for watching. Sharon, Bobby, God bless you. Romisha, God bless you. Timothy, God bless you. Good morning, Mother. Mother Regina, God bless you. Hello, Sabrina. Good morning, Minister Walter. God bless you. Hello, Erica. God is good. God is good. Good morning, Joseph Baker, Sherry. Good morning. Hello, Melissa. Yes, we stand and we believe. Good morning, Vanessa and Barbara. God bless you. Yes, we stand and believe the word and we make our confession of faith. Good morning, Chelsea and Alicia. God bless you. Ethan. Yes, and amen. Good morning. It is so, Dr. Pam. Yes, it is. It is so. Cynthia, good morning, Minister Cynthia. Good morning, Lucretia. Thank you. Blessings to you too, Lucretia. Latoya, God bless you. Good morning, Travis. Love you so much. Ronald, God bless you. You have a wonderful Wednesday as well, Dr. Pam. Well, we, we pray the rest of your day is blessed and we stand firm on our confession of faith. We are word warriors. God bless you. Here's Sam and Heather. Amen, amen. Well, we're gonna close out. God bless you. Mm -hmm.